Hi, this is Achuni and welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be completing very, very important Java interview questions, coding part and as well as theoretical question. We will start from coding part and completing to the theory. Okay. So now the very first question given a list of employee and what we need to do filter out all the employees whose age is greater than 20. Okay. And print all the employees. So let me directly tell you the logic how we will do this. Okay. So if we are trying to do this, so here is our employee list. Okay. And I'm putting a string on it. Just filter it with the greater than 20. So why we are using a filter? Filter is just a functional interface and it is expecting and it will just one argument and it will give you either true or false, right? If you don't have the knowledge of Java, then let me give you some uh, idea about it. Okay, and map if you want to just make some calculation, some uh, error or operation on each and every object on your list, then you can go with the map. If you want just in simple what I can say, if you want a modification, okay, and correct. This is a just collection a stream. We can just complete it in two form. One is setting and one is achieving, right? So if you do not have this idea, I have one playlist on my channel that is Java 8 playlist. So all these things I have already completed in that just go and watch it. Okay. So now not next question. What is the next question? Give the list of employee and count number of employee with age 25. Now here in previous question, we have to do that for 25 greater here. I, we have to count the number of employee. Okay. So how we will do that? Just put a uh, stream on the list and again filter. I told you, right? This is true or false. Uh, either true or false so equal equals to 25 and it will return true for each and every stream and we will count that at the end okay so what we are saying number of employee with is 25 and here you will be printing the count so moving to the next question give it the list of employee find the employee with name mary okay so how we will do that again the similar type of question like employee stream and here we say like e dot get name equals marry and find any here if someone asks you give me the implementation of optional why we are using optional we are using optional because of we want to don't like null pointer exception we want to save okay here is present we will check in optional it is present then it will give the true and you can print it out so we discussed the two similar question because i want to just make you give an idea of optional class okay because in some of these 15 questions we are having optional uh, question okay on the optional class okay so let me erase this and go to the next question given a list of employee find a maximum age of employee okay so we are moving from easy to hard part okay so now again the option in max okay you say employee list string and map to int okay and this is a employee and get max so this is a method reference so you are calling get age method on top of your employee class okay whatever the object you are getting from the stream you are just saying get age and give me the maximum age of that if you are if you are checking here like is it present then i will say max dot get in as end okay you are getting just age of your employee which is present in your optional in max variable which you have declared here okay I think like you are getting it like what is optional is right because it give me the true or false when we are checking to the like is op present or not okay so like moving to the next question given list of employee short all employee on the basis of age so in shorting we have two type of shorting customizer shorting okay and natural shorting these two type of shorting we have but here what we are say like okay I'm passing a two object even e2 and here I'm using a lambda expression if you pass it like minus and if you just pass here e2 or even here then it will be the reverse direction now you are passing even here and e2 here and it will be the sorting into the ascending order and after the just take out the list you are just using a for each loop okay and with the method reference so your sorted will be printed here okay so nothing very complex or fancy here just a simple logic so let me remove and just go to the next question now given a list of employee group them by employee name so what do you have to do just as an you are using sql you are group some data with the help of some uh, index of my 
so the similar thing you have to do here so how you will do that so map in grouping what happened one is a key and other is a list of employee so this is a like grouping happen in your sql also so how you will do that just stream on the employee list and say collect and collectors dot grouping and employee dot get name so you are grouping on the basis of name because in the in your question says like group them by employee name right so that's why you are using employee with the method reference get name and it is a collectors predefined function like grouping by so i hope it is get, uh, making sense so here what you are doing just uh, you are using your like string on the basis of name you are grouping your list of employee okay again moving to the next question given a list of number square them and filter them number plus filter the number which are greater than 10000 okay and find the average so how you will do that first you can ask me the one thing here hey ashwini why you can't use the filter here and map here okay just read the question once it is saying first filter and which is a greater than a square so how you will make a square first you need to make a some modification so that's why we are using a map first okay so for a square what you will do in if you are, if you want to take a square and into n right if you want to say to a square of 2 to into 2 right like this we are doing so here you just say i make a square and filter what you will say like okay lambda expression and and n greater than your 10000 and you are taking an average of it it is a predefined function and it is present in a your uh, optional you are just i have not tried the optional here okay because i'm uh, just explaining you multiple uh, times so that's why okay optional so you are checking is it present in an optional then say get as double okay because it is a method uh, like uh, average your class method now moving to the next question now here from here some theoretical question is started like what are the new features which got introduced in java 8 so how will you answer this there are few uh, like lot of uh, feature but you don't have to answer all the uh, feature because everyone doesn't have idea of it whatever the main feature you can answer this or what the feature you have just faced in your uh, daily life or in your project okay so you can say there is the most like there are a lot of features but few important features are just lambda expression stream api default method functional interface optional and method reference date api so we have seen this this right of and this also and the stream api we are just checking out lambda expression all the which we are just covering in this video okay so again what is a functional interface now you can say functional interface a uh, interface which having only one method like sam right abstract method it can have a static method and default method it can have any default method okay and there are many functional methods just like a uh, comparable this comparable and runnable as we only have one method in runnable hence it is considered as functional interface so as soon as you are just saying this giving a definition of functional interface they will ask you to can you implement a functional interface right so how we'll answer that you can say like this is a question how lambda expression and functional interface are readable or we can say like can you implement a functional interface right so first let me give you the answer of the lambda expression and functional interface okay so how it will be like you can say that right in your class you can directly pass the run method implementation right this is a run method implementation okay and if you are doing without your this java 8 feature you have to do somewhere like this right you have to give a implementation proper implementation without if you are doing without java 8 and this you can do with java 8 right so you this is a like lambda expression functional interface between okay because you can say that right like wherever the your one method is present you can give the lambda expression and that lambda expression is the implementation of your functional interface only one method okay yeah so next question can you create your functional interface okay that i told you in a previous uh, question if you answer the theoretical question they might be asked you to give the answer to the theoretical just uh, implementation okay so this is very important you can just put the functional interface on top of your any interface and you can say like i have one only a stack method that is print and default method you can that is giving a genie ashwari so default method any number of default method you can take but only one abstract method will be there okay so this is the definition of functional interface you can just read it here like yes you can create a functional interface okay java can implement a functional interface just like why you can also annotate it functional interface 
so let me give you the one more question and google it after this video like what happened like if you are not why you we are using this annotation right this is a function interface without uh, we are implementing this one we are not writing function interface on top of this interface right then also it is a function interface. why we are using this so if you have uh, like google or you have idea just answer me in a comment section okay i will read all the comments now what is the method uh, reference in java 8 so you can say like method reference is used to refer a method uh, functional interface okay it is a method of functional interface it is a nothing but compact by lambda expression you can simply replace a lambda expression with a method reference so there is a like uh, the giving a not we can say we, we can't say like it is a replacement of lambda expression but we can use in place of lambda expression what is syntax is like using class and double dot like this colon 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 and method name okay we have seen in some previous examples so let me move to the next question this also we have implemented right that's why i just put a, a coding question uh, on the first place so what is the option class and why we are uh, like and how we can use it we already saw how we are how we are using optional right and why we are using so you can read it here java 8 introduce a new class called optional and this is uh, this is a basically introduced to our null pointer app section as you can see in our uh, above questions we are using is present right java that's why an optional class encapsulated optional values which either present or not that's why we are using is present okay it is a wrapper around object and can be used to avoid null pointer exception let's a uh, sample i have not pasted any sample here but uh, that's why i just put all the coding question above so you can have idea about it so no need of sample okay now why is a optional and why how we can use it again this slide is uh, coming again so sorry for it okay so these all are the question we are just covering in this video so i just put up a uh, slide of that so sorry for that i will see you in the next video uh, uh till then you have some other doubt questions or any topic for me just comment it down okay i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye